Today's scam was brought to us by our new friend, T. Shay, also known as Twander on TikTok. While she was applying for jobs online, she came across a job offer that seemed suspicious to say the least. T. Shay proceeded to string along this scammer in a series of videos on TikTok before passing it along to us for further investigation. But first, meet T. Shay. Hi, so my name is T. Shay, and I'm also known as Twander on TikTok and someone tried to scam me. I was looking for online jobs because I'm currently a college student. One of the places that I was applying to was on Craigslist and one person got back to me. My job duties would basically be as a virtual office assistant for a CEO of an insurance company. I was very cautious and started making a series on TikTok called Scamming a Scammer. Dr. Oz as well as Ashton and Art reached out to me stating that, you know, they could get more information about the scammer and it's just been a really crazy ride. This is a pretty elaborate scam with a lot of steps, and we're gonna expose each one in explicit detail. Starting with the Craigslist job posting, let's apply for the job and see if we can infiltrate this web of lies. Brother, are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do it! This is a fake check scam, also referred to as an online job scam. It starts with a seemingly innocuous job ad online, in this case, Craigslist. It's posted by someone calling herself Mariah Tora, hiring personnel for Enville Insurance Group in Tennessee, seeking a home-based personal assistant for the head of HR. We wanna see exactly what steps Mariah takes throughout the scam, and no better way to do that than to apply for the job ourselves. Now, since she'll probably ask me for a resume, I can use this opportunity to get her to click an IP grabber tracking link so that we can find out where she's actually located. Let's get started. Okay, I am going to make a new link Mariah is asking for my resume. I'm going to have the link forward to LinkedIn and I'm gonna tell her that I have my resume on LinkedIn so she won't be alerted when she ends up on LinkedIn. The thing is, she doesn't really need my resume for this scam. It's all just part of the ruse. So she may not click this. Although, if she is gonna use information from the resume against me, like my contact information or whatever, or my his job history at all, she'll have to click it. Hey. She clicked it. She clicked it. Got her. She's in Lagos, Nigeria. Uh, wow. It is a legit Google Forms link. Mm-hmm. Our voicemail system. Of course you're in a meeting. By connecting with her on Google Hangouts, it allows us to communicate with Mariah in a much more instant fashion and gives us the ability to do direct video calls to her. But we first have to get her to accept the invite. To our voicemail system. Hi, Mariah, uh, this is Chase. Um, I'm sorry to keep calling you, but I, I, like I told you, I don't have unlimited text messaging. I just sent you a Google Hangout invite and we can chat there. Uh, thank you so much for your reply and for getting back to me. I'm, I'm really excited about this opportunity. This is Chase Chapman. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. So right from the get-go, she's being pretty stubborn about communicating with me in any other fashion other than text message. So I knew from the start that this scam bait would not be easy or quick. Scammers like to move fast, but more importantly, they like not to get caught. So I followed her request of filling out the questionnaire that she had set up on Google Forms, and then waited for her to get back to me. And believe it or not, I got the job. Quite quickly, I might add. No background check, no identification, no contract, nothing. 
But as you'd expect, she already has a task for me to complete. She explains to me that she'll be sending me a cashier's check, which will include my initial salary, plus extra funds added on top of it for me to help purchase laboratory equipment from one of her suppliers. How convenient. We're gonna try calling Mariah. She's actively texting you right now. As of now, the check is late, I guess. I don't know if that's a tactic of hers or if it really is just running late in the mail, but she said it'll be here in the next four days. She said, okay, who do you bank with? It's a Bank of America. Okay. She said, okay, what is your daily limit? And is your account attached to Cash App? Why would an employer ask me that? Daily limit? I just played dumb. You mean like for debit? And she said, I mean, do you have Cash App? What is your withdrawer limit per day? Withdrawer. So I said, let me check. She said, okay. So we're gonna call. The text now subscriber you are trying to reach is not available. Another scammer using text now. We've said this a million How times. How convenient is that? Ah. What? Texted back. Saw your missed call, but I'm attending to something. Of course, she's busy. Yes, but I need to explain it. You know the limit? It's complicated. Oh, man. Yeah. Just it's like answer, classic. Yeah, answer my call for two minutes. But, you but, know she, what? but she has but time to check my bank limit right yeah. now, right? Yeah. But she can't check my phone call for two minutes. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, of course email. she has a solution. Yeah, email. Okay, email me if you find it difficult to text. I'll just talk to you on the phone when you're available. Yep. Oh, this bullshit. Oh, really difficult. Oh, it's really is difficult. Is she mocking me or is she not? Mocking me. But what's going on? We'll pick up the phone? Yeah. All right, send me the Rube team and account number. And account number. The routing and account number already. The text now subscriber. Yeah, I'm busy. I'm confused. We'll talk to you later. Maybe we're on the hook a little bit. Maybe don't reply for a few hours. Make her itchy. You know, I need that money. It took her a couple of weeks, but she did finally get me a tracking number, and eventually the check was delivered to my office mailbox. Okay, it's a new day. This finally showed up. Mariah, our scammer, Mariah Tora, has sent me my first payment for my assistant job. <coughs> Apparently I'm allergic to bullshit. Sent to a Mr. Chase Chapman at my office address. Sent from Kim Service Incorporated, Paul Morrison in Bloomfield, New Jersey, 07003. And this was paid for. A priority mail two day envelope. Looks like it was printed at someone's house because it's not even on like a, it's just like, it's really blurry. I'm gonna take a picture of this. I don't think she ever told me how much money I was gonna be getting. I have been checking my files and what I would want you to do for me this week is to run some errands to one of our suppliers whom we just purchased some laboratory equipment from. Payments are to be made to them as soon as possible. I would send you a certified cashier's check, which will be sent over to you from one of our account officers first thing tomorrow morning, and I will let you know how to get to my supplier once you receive the funds. Oftentimes they'll tell you you're gonna get a certain amount and then they'll overpay you and they'll tell you that the, that the difference needs to be sent to somebody and then of course the check is fake to begin with so they're actually profiting off of you uh, with their scam. However, here she never actually said how much I'm getting paid so I am assuming she's just expecting me to take this money, deposit it and then uh, send a payment somewhere. And then she texted me yesterday, hello, USPS says the package has been delivered, kindly deposited the check in your account directly through your bank mobile app or alternatively through ATM. I will give you cash allocation procedure and further instructions on what to do once the funds are made available in your account. Send me picture of the deposit slip after you must have deposited it so I can authorize the payment. They don't want you to go into the bank. They want you to deposit it via ATM or on your phone. A teller at a bank is gonna probably be able to spot it right away that it's not real. So they want you to deposit it via ATM or mobile app because the available balance will be reflected, right? Like if it's gonna bounce, it's not gonna bounce immediately. So you're gonna deposit it into your bank. It'll probably show that the deposit is pending and then they will have taken money from you, but then you haven't gotten anything. So I'm gonna open this right now on camera. This is exactly how it showed up in our mailbox. Okay, it's just an envelope with a check. There's no note, there's nothing else. And here it is. 
This is what came in the mail. Supposedly a cashier's check from South Central Bank for $3,850.50. The remitter, Mary Ann Nichols. Don't know who that is. Must be their accounting person. To verify authenticity, see reverse side for description of the 13 security features. So they have just printed this on a piece of paper. It's a thick piece of paper. It feels like a check. I mean, I'm no bank teller, but this feels somewhat legit. I'm sure if I went through these docu-guard steps, it would be easy to tell that this isn't real. I don't really see any watermarks. There's a heat sensitive shield, fades with heat or touch. Let me touch it. That actually works. I'm gonna record this just so you can see. Heat sensitive shield, fades with heat or touch. I don't know if the, the uh, lighting on the camera is gonna do this justice here, but if I just cover this with my thumb for a few seconds and then uncover it, it is fading a little bit. Enough that if you didn't know what you were talking about, this could probably convince you that this is real. I wonder if this is even a real bank. Southcentralbank.com. Well, it's an actual website. It is a secure connection. Find a branch. Okay, so it seems to be a local bank in Kentucky. So why is this being sent from Bloomfield, New Jersey. Mariah wants me to deposit this and then immediately transfer the money. Now, this is a really interesting one because there's a very thin window of opportunity here. I'm gonna tell her that I deposited this into an ATM. She was asking me for a deposit slip, so I'm going to make a fake deposit slip. And the clock is kind of ticking as far as she's concerned because she knows that me as the victim, when I learn that this check is bounced, I'm not going to give her any money, right? It, it, her, her scam stops in its tracks. So she has the, the time between me depositing this with a pending available balance to the time that it bounces for her to actually scam me successfully, which actually works to our benefit because that urgency on her end might make her more desperate to do what we want on our end. So I'm gonna make a fake deposit slip. Then I'm gonna play on the urgency of the situation to see if I can get her on the phone and better yet on video chat. So, Let's get to work. That's our deposit slip. It's got a little bit of a blur. Still can see that it was the right number, but you can't make out any information otherwise, and it doesn't look too tampered with. I don't imagine she'll be looking at it very long. Again, I don't think she's using this to uh, garner information. It's more just about knowing when the scam trigger is, is ready to go. Now, as I mentioned, they always want you to deposit the check via an ATM or a mobile deposit in order to avoid you from going into the bank and actually showing the check to a teller. Now, even though sometimes these checks can seem convincing, we've done this enough times to know that this is fake. However, Art and I have previously investigated these fake check scams before, and have even gone into the field to get a professional opinion. Can I talk with the manager for real quick? Hi. We have a YouTube channel that we're busting scammers. So basically what they do, uh, they send you $500 more and they say like, oh my God, we send you a little bit more, send us back and yeah. put deposit to your account. We're familiar with that. So. Did you guys have before like that? Yeah, I've had multiple customers come in with that. How, the same. how can you tell the check is uh, bounced or like, what do you can tell about this? Well, I can tell by looking at it that it's just the characteristics, the way it, it looks, it looks fake. Okay. It doesn't look real. Uh, I can guarantee if I run it through the system, it's going to tell us it's fake. So if you cash this right now against oh. your account right. uh, and we allow you to cash it and we give you this money here, mm -hmm. um, by the next couple days, the item would bounce and then right. it will go into your account and take that money out. 
And if you don't have this money available, your account will become overdrawn. What would you do in that situation if you got scammed like this, this fake check that they are uh, sending you? Would you still be owing bank that money? Yeah, because you're putting the check at your own risk into your account. Without even I don't even know that they, you know, like the company gave me that. That is correct. So now the clock starts. As far as she's concerned, I've already deposited the check into an ATM. And it didn't take her long to jump to the next step of the scam by asking me if I had Cash App or Zelle. I continued to play dumb at the demand that she talk to me on the phone. Considering her limited time window, she obliged. Hello? Mariah? I'm good, how are you? It's nice to talk to you. I didn't understand a single syllable of what you just said. You said you needed me to put money into to Cash App? I'm just a little confused as to as to how this works. Okay, um, listen, I don't have a lot of text messages on my phone. I sent you an invite on Google Hangout so we can text there. Can you accept it so we can talk better? Just do it on your phone. Uh, it's a, it's, it's just on your Gmail. I sent it to m your Mariah uh, Torah email here. Just, uh, it's just an invite. I can work on the Cash App once I see you on, uh, once we connect on Google Hangouts, um, because I just, I'm, I'm just a little scared about everything, and I just want to make sure it's all good. Okay, I'm just I'm having a really hard time understanding you. So yeah, if you could find me on Google Hangouts, please. I already sent you an invite. Okay, do it do it right now, please. I'm waiting. Yeah, just go into your Gmail right now. It's right there in your phone. I'm not hearing any of your replies, so I'm just gonna repeat myself. Okay. This is like the Charlie Brown situation. Uh, yeah, please find the Google Hangout invite so we can chat there, please. Dude. It's either an actual woman or a guy using a voice changer. I'm gonna do my best to find out which one. It's not hard to imagine that these scammers spend a lot of time trying to avoid being caught, tracked, or linked to any permanent phone number or email address. Throughout this process, Mariah has already changed phone numbers on me once, with an excuse, of course. And now she's asking for the Google Hangout invite to be resent to an alternate email address. Going along with her excuses, I resent the invite, and she accepted it. Nice. Mariah? Hi, how you doing? I can't, my phone seems Hi, how are you? Oh, okay, and you? Can you hear me? Yeah, but I can't see anything. Um, I told you I don't know what's happening. It's not, it's not picking up. I, I just wanted to meet you and say hi. I'm, I'm really excited to work for you. It's very really good to see you too. Uh, uh, I was concerned about what, what you told me about your salary. You had sent me a check for, I think it was 3800 or something, but I thought that was my, my salary, but I have, to, I have to give some of it back. I'm just a little confused. Uh, I, know, I, know, I know I stood you up um, uh, waiting on your check, but uh, it's because uh, we, we had so many things to do and so many um, businesses to attend to. So I had to, I had to, I had to pen, about to pen you, and working for. You. Oh, so how much am I gonna get? Six hundred now, and uh, I'll be paying you subsequently um, as time goes on. Oh, where, where do you, where, are you, where do you live exactly? 
Yeah, I'm basically I'm basically working in Tennessee right now. I'm 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 starting a new business with a friend, and that's the paperwork I was telling you about. We're starting a new business, uh, you know, about Bitcoin. That's one of the reasons why I need all things to be in place because we need equipment for uh for the new office because we're starting at work. So we have basically a lot of things we're starting up. So that's why I was I was trying to tell you about that. I don't know. Can I chat you up? I have some things to take care of now. I'm really busy right now. I just need to go back to making the paperwork for It's good to meet you. I'm sure you're going to meet me soon. Okay? Yeah, it's, it's wonderful to meet you too. Uh, I'll tell you what, as soon as you're able to uh, say hi to me, then I, I will be able to, I'll, I'll send you that that money. That That's just all I want to do just to feel more comfortable because I know there's a lot of weird stuff out there. So I'll try to see how that works, but I really need you to get on it and the tax as soon as possible. He asked me to call you. I did that. He told me to come on here. I just, I know, I know, I know how you want to be preventable and all. And I like your walk already. You've been patient with me, so. Well, can you see, can stuff. you see me? It's a bit, it's, it's a bit moving around. I can see your hand moving. I can see your hand moving. You can see me? Am I, am I cute? Is that not the fakest voice you've ever heard in your life? Hello? So about that, I, 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 I can see your hand moving. Am I cute? Yeah. <laughs> you, you are, you are, you such a, you such a funny one. <laughs> you, you are, you are. I'm, 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 a, I'm a little bit of a, of a jokester, you know, I like to mess with people, if you know what I mean. I, I, I can see your hands moving now, yeah, I can see you moving now. You have your glasses on, right? Yeah, yeah. I don't have much time to talk right now, but I'll be talking to you. I'll be talking to you. Thank you for talking, talking to, to me, you. but I, I need to see uh -huh. you. That's all, that's all I ask. So if you can't do it, then, I, uh, then uh, I'll uh, have uh, to move uh, on. Uh, 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 I don't know, but I was just trying to see what I can do or send you a video or something saying hi, but, but I needed to work. I, I, I have things to do. I don't know. I got things to do too. To believe me, I want to be a good employee, but this is my one requirement. That's all I ask. This is going to cost you. That's all I'm going to say. This is the real stress right now. I'm trying to tell you this. Spending this it's going to cost me. What does that mean? What are you going to punish me with a, with a ruler? What, what does that mean? It's going to cost me. What is it going to cost me? Cause you know, if we lose this job, if we lose this job, uh, cause I have some things I need to settle. I'm trying to work towards making it go well. I have a good. I can find another job. I mean, it's this is you know. I mean, uh, I'll do what I have to do, but I also need to protect myself. So. Oh, I'll try. I'll try. I'll try that. I'll get back to you. Okay. Uh, thank you. Thanks, Mariah. Uh, bye. 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 Is that not the fakest, stupidest voice you've ever heard in your life? It was so distorted on the original audio call that I couldn't tell if it was like a voice changer or just like a, a pretend voice, but it was much clearer here. And that sounds a lot different than the person on the original audio call. So my guess is that probably on their phone number, maybe they have like a voice changer or something through the Text Now app or they have something configured because on this Google Hangouts, it sounded a lot different to me. The next morning, I not only received several texts from Mariah, but a very strongly worded email explaining her dissatisfaction with my performance as her assistant. According to her, she hired me to reduce her workload, but all I'm doing is contributing to it, which is cool. She continued by explaining that I needed to deduct $600 from the check for my salary and then send the remaining $3,200 to a foster home. I thought it was for lab equipment. Her frustration is rising and she knows she's running out of time. So I thought I'd raise the stakes on my end as well. I responded as Chase, emphasizing how upset I was that she yelled at me, and made it very clear that I'm crying uncontrollably. She took the bait and called me immediately. Now keep in mind, I can't always plan when scammers are gonna be active or responsive. So as this was still early on a Saturday morning and I hadn't gotten out of bed yet, we're working with only a POV shot from my pillow. Uh, Mariah? I'm 
sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay, you're not gonna fire me, right? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. I'll be okay. I'm not gonna fire you. Promise? You promise? I can't hear you. God, that is a dude. Yeah, right. A hundred percent. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Oh, he just hung up. Now, don't let her sentiment fool you. She went right back to being snarky and frustrated via text message. Due to her stubborn refusal to fix her camera, as she promised, I instead asked her to film a video of herself and send it to me, just to see what she would do. Tensions continued to rise, but greeting me on my phone a few hours later was this video. Hey Chain, how are you doing? I just got my camera fixed. I'm a very busy person, just took out my busy time to make this video for you. Sorry I made you cry, it is because I was so worried about the phone. Can you please go ahead and complete the task because we have a lot of work to do next week. Thank you, bye. Likely a different person from the one I spoke to before, but still fascinating nonetheless to see the lengths that these scammers will go to to deceive people, and potentially how many people around them are helping to make this happen. Sadly, Mariah never did fix her phone to video chat me, but I continued to waste her time the entire rest of the week. Several texts, many calls, and eventually hinting at the fact that I may not be who I said I was. This only infuriated her more and brought out a new side of Mariah that we had not seen yet. Now the number of texts are exhaustive, but here's a little taste. <laughs> At this point, I think Mariah has realized that I'm not going to be as stellar of an employee as she may have hoped. But in all seriousness, this is a very common type of scam that's going on, especially with so many things happening remotely right now. If you are offered employment online and it seems a bit fishy, here are the things you want to look out for. Rushed hiring. If somebody is ready to hire you without experience, without a job training. Like, oh, just got the like, job. Just like that, right like, there. oh, you're hired there. right on spot. No real interviews, no, no training, nothing, verification of your information. Big red flag. Overpayment. Now this is a big one. They're not only gonna send you a fake check, they're also gonna send you a check that it's a, the balance is much higher. Sometimes they're, they overpay you overpay for what you, they yeah. say is gonna be your first week's salary. And there could be many reasons for this. Sometimes they'll say it was on accident, or sometimes they'll say, oh, uh, we gave you extra so you can go and get the training materials, or you have to regis register for something. Here is the money for extra week for you, on a house. At the end of the day, they want you to send them the difference 
via usually an online payment source like Cash App or, or Venmo. They want to get that difference from you. Now the check is fake. It's going to bounce at the bank. But before that happens, they convince you that you owe them money. By the time the check is bounced, they're long gone with the money that you actually gave them. Another thing to keep in mind here is if you do get a check from something that seems fishy or from an unknown sender or something that you're unsure about, take the check into the bank and ask a teller. Don't deposit it with an ATM or with a mobile app because even if the check is fake, you might still get a pending balance uh, of a part of that check before it actually bounces, which would then enable you to send them the money that they're asking you for. So take it to a teller, ask them, make sure it's real. Think, go to the teller, go to the cashier, ask questions. Don't ever, ever be afraid to ask questions. And finally, lack of communication. And this really goes for all types of scams, but especially these when it's potentially your employer, if they don't want to call you on the phone yeah. or fa face I don't want to meet you. FaceTime you or meet you face to face. I mean, that's a little weird. So What? They, Meeting in person? Oh, wow. You're no hired. They usually like to communicate strictly via text or WhatsApp or email. Emails. Um, so if they're avoiding any direct communication beyond that, uh, another really big red flag. Stay informed. Stay safe. And make sure you subscribe to your favorite scam fighting duo over at Trilogy Media. My name is Ashton. My name is Art. And we'll see you next time. time.